Hello and welcome to another video. So we've already done our elevation and our imagery and that's our terrain that we can see in front of us. The next step is to get some vector data and we can use vector data to represent all kinds of features such as roads, vegetation, so trees or forests and buildings. Anything you can think of really that you can put in your scene can be done using vector data. Okay, so to get some vector data, I'm going to head back over to Arc Pro and I'm going to have a look at a very small data set that we're going to be using. Here we've got individual building footprints, we've got some roads represented as polylines, and then we've got points and polygons for different type of vegetation, either individual trees or forests. The quickest and easiest way to do this is just to export each feature into City Engine as a shape file. So I'm going to right click on uh, this building height feature class. I'm going to go down to data, export features. I'm going to make sure it's saving into the correct location. So into my project, uh, city engine project data folder. I'm going to give it a name. So bld.shp building shapefile. And then again, really important that we just check the coordinate system is the same. I'm going to say that every single time. And if we're using a large data set, it doesn't really matter for my example. Um, but if we're using a large data set, we don't want to be pulling in the whole country's data into City Engine. That's a great way to crash your software. So we're just going to clip it to the current display extent. OK, I've already done this, so you can press OK. I'm not going to press OK. Uh, and I can go back into City Engine and have a look at this data. So as I said, in my project folder, I've got a data folder. And inside that, I've got my shape file made up of dozens and dozens of files here. But the one we're looking for is bld.shp, so build and shape file. So I can just click on that and drag it into the display. OK, so we can see on the top left, I've got shapes, builds, 25 objects. However, I can't see them. And the reason for that is that my elevation data is lifting that terrain up to the correct level. However, uh, the building footprints are sat at an elevation of zero. So I simply need to align them to the terrain using the align to terrain function. So on the shape files, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm going to right click and I can go align shapes to the terrain. And then the feature we're looking for, the setting we're looking for is a height map one. Uh, yours is probably set to Y equals zero. You want to set it to terrain DTM. So you set that, press finishes and all of a sudden your buildings will head up to the terrain. OK, I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the data. You can follow along and then I'll show you some more things in the next video. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for future demos.